not going to be that long. Relatively short agenda, so when we get through that, we're going to take about a five or ten minute break and have a, a work session on our budget. And I've got some asking the department to come. And we may do that down there in the other chamber rooms so we can kind of sit together. But I do want to thank you for coming. And at this time, <coughs> let's have our uh, Pledge of Allegiance. I'm going to ask the man to lead us in that. Then Matt Kraft is going to lead us in States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the gift of life and the blessings of this day, the rain that you've sent us today. Uh, Lord, we, we pray for our city, our state, and our nation. We just pray your blessings upon it. Father, we pray for our leaders of our city specifically tonight that they'll make direct uh, decisions that's in line with your will. Father, we give you thanks for those who fight for our freedom uh, in the past and those that continue to do that today for the freedoms that we so greatly enjoy. We give you most thanks for your son Jesus who gives the ultimate freedom. And it's in his name that I pray and that we ask all things. Amen. Amen. First thing on the agenda tonight is to approve the minutes for the last meeting. I make a motion. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Discussion? All in favor, say aye. Aye. Second recommendation is to approve the council's payable bills. Is there a motion to approve those bills? I make a motion to approve. I'll look up on it. I'll second. Okay, well, thank you. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Next, we have Ms. Sarah Boyd from the Northwest Alabama Arts Festival. She called me a week or so ago. It's about this time last year, Sarah, I think y'all came and gave us your proposal. request, and if you would, this time, I'd like you to tell us, you know. You want, is this okay, or do I need to? Just come up just a little bit. You want to taste the okay. camera can see. <laughs> Now, these, these students know that, that I don't like to be on camera. That's okay. <laughs> uh, this time last year, everybody was calling the Arts Council crazy. And we may have been, but we were approached to put on the Nutcracker. People said, the Nutcracker in Hamilton, Alabama? Nobody will come to the Nutcracker. Well, with a lot of help from people like the city council and a lot of uh, individuals, a lot of tears, <laughs> a lot of sleepless nights, we not only put it on, we had a professional ballet in Hamilton, Alabama with some sold out crowds. 500 seat capacity at Bevel and we averaged 400 seats per performance. But the whole thing, could be summed up in one word, 
when you saw the students, we had, last year we had four student matinees, and when you saw the students come out, and their little eyes were this big, and you would ask them what you thought about it, and they said, awesome. That was the word that we heard more than anything else. I want to do this. I want to get into the arts. It was worth every bit of it. Well, this year, we're trying again, and hopefully we're going to be bigger and better. We're going, we have gone from a cast last year of 53 to a cast of 67. We have gone bit, last year from four student matinees to three days, six student matinees. We have four uh, public performances, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights, and Sunday afternoon. But we can't do it by ourselves. We have to have help. I didn't realize how much putting on a production like this costs until last year. And I'm not talking hundreds of dollars. I'm talking thousands of dollars. Because if any of you that saw this performance, saw the, the costumes, the uh, staging, it was first place, first rate. There was nothing second rate about it. Hamilton and I can do it. But we need your help. We need your help. Last year, you were gracious enough to give us $2,500. And we'd like to ask for $2,500 again this year, if, if possible. Uh, tickets for the public will go on sale this coming Saturday, October the 11th, online. And they will be in First National Bank, both branches, Main and South Branch, First State Bank, and Lister Hill Credit Union, as well as the Arts Council of Hamilton Chamber Office, Chamber of Commerce Office. Those will go on sale Tuesday, Monday being a holiday. So those will be on sale, and we hope that if you didn't see it last year, or if you did see it last year, come and see it again this year, because it's going to be better this year. So, uh, you, if you have any questions, is there anything that I can bring you up today? Already, when does it start? When's the first performance? Uh, uh, December, the first public performance will be December 11th, will be Thursday night, <coughs> Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night at 7 p.m., Sunday at 2. Student performances will be Wednesday the 10th, 11th, and 12th at 9 and 12, and we already have students, because we've already started letting the students sign up, we have students from Fayette County, Franklin County, the Shoals area, uh, of course Marion County, we are looking at bringing in a thousand students per day for three days. We've already called restaurants to tell them to be the pilot. So this, this is going to help the city of Hamilton. It's the next one. Last year, John did the online sales, and we had some online people. Was it Pennsylvania? Yeah, y'all had several states. Yeah, from several states. So this is putting our city in a fantastic light. And we just asked for it. Ms. Sarah, I think it's great. Y'all it do a fantastic job. Well, it's great publicity for our city. <coughs> All the ones involved is not just Hamilton students. Oh, it's in this this year, Last year, we pretty much went with Maine County. This year, we have sent out invitations to all of the surrounding counties, Lamar, uh, Fayette, Franklin, Winston, uh, all the surrounding counties, because we want the students to, to see these. That's what I was interested in, wondering if it was outside of, of the county, and that's great. Yes, this it reminds year, me of uh, at Phil Campbell, you know. Um, when all of our children were younger, we used to go up there. That, that went there for and why. Yes, so. we have had oh, good. we have had some teachers that they have in the past taken their students to Birmingham and places like this to see various things at Christmas. That say this year they're coming to Hamilton. That's great. So you know, but as I said, it costs a lot to do this, and, and we need your help if at all possible. I think it's great. Ask what the council's recommendations are. But you're asking for twenty-five million. Be a motion to donate $25 million. It's coming out of the general fund. It's coming out of the general fund. I'd like to motion to give a $2,500. I'll second. Okay, Any discussion on this? I'll make a motion to give you $3,500. We have $2,500. 
one by first. <laughs> first and second. So you'd have to change that. Very if you wanted to change that you could. But we have to vote on twenty five hundred. Change it to 35, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, Thank you. 
probably last week, you said there's an opportunity. If we wanted to upgrade from 6 inch to 8 inch, you can explain that. We would have to pay the difference. We get reimbursed for all of it except for an upgrade. Is that correct? That's right. If you entered into an agreement without a few months ago uh, for relocation of your water lines on their driveway, uh, to get outside of their construction limits. That's called an in-kind agreement. Basically, they'll pay you to move your lines, put back the same size line and the same type line, and just move it off their, outside their construction limits, but inside their right way. Uh, Roddy and I were discussing this. Right now, you've got a six-inch water line that feeds the south end of the county, or feeds the south end of your system, feeds uh, the industrial park. You've also got an eight-inch line on County Road 35. So Roddy and I discussed the possibility of upgrading this line as we relocate it to an eight-inch line. Now that will let you do that. It's called a betterment. You're basically bettering what you have now, and you pay the difference. On this project, to increase that from six to eight, your cost would be around $30,000. Uh, What's the out, benefits of doing that, Pete? Well, if you have a large industry industry that locates in the industrial park, if you have a large user on the south end, if you start selling more water south to Gwen or to other systems, you would need that added capacity. Same we don't do Three, four years from now. If you decide you want to put that eight inch line in on your own in the future or a larger line, you're probably looking at three or four hundred thousand dollars because of the bore of the river uh, and the length of line you'd be putting in. Did you say there is an eight inch on 35? Yes. Would, would it start where? Around? Uh, it starts at the intersection of 35. And oh, at the intersection. Yeah. Would this line go all the way through that? Yeah, it would connect to that existing eight inch line. Give you an eight inch feed all the way from town all the way out to the industrial park. Okay. As well as tying on south down Old Pop Road so that if you ever need to push more water in that direction, you have any capacity. That's going to come back to Roddy and what we were all talking about the other day about the selling of water and what the future is going to hold. I'm definitely for it. I think we need to do it. Anything ever goes down in the industrial park down there, it, it definitely helps. Exactly. He explained to me if you've got a six inch going into an eight inch, it already goes far. That's right. You've got an eight inch line there, volume, but not as much volume as you're feeding that eight inch line on camera 35 with a six inch line now. So, if it fed with, with eight all the way, your volume would be that much more. That's right. So yeah, you've got to push more volume. Out to your system. I think for future development would be good. I mean, it could make be another administration, but some somewhere down the line it may be a good decision if they look back and see that we increase that water volume just in case we do have a big user. For the amount of money that we can afford to do it now, but not not be able to afford it later. What's the council's thoughts on that? Well, it might be one of the assets this, this city has with Buddy Hatcher River because uh, we've discussed this before <coughs> looking at these towns around us. Uh, we do have, do we not, Rodney, the best source of water as far as uh, any of the, the, the towns or cities around us. Got to do. You got to have vision. Look ahead. From the six to the eight. Are they on general fund? Is it money to pay money? That's a good question. Alan, what's your recommendation? Yeah, we could pay that general fund. Got a capital improvements fund. If they wanted those two, I would think. Mm -hmm. The one we use. So the capital improvements fund. Two hundred. Two hundred fifty thousand. Something like that. That would be a project you could pay out of that. <coughs> I think so. And since we're busted, you know, in the budget process anyway. We yeah. table it right now about where it's going to come from and, and when we get to sit down and get our final budget on it, we'll put it where, it, where it's the best for us. And each one would this be that sometime here in 2015? Yeah, construction will probably start in spring 2015. So next, next March, April. That's right. So we're looking at 
do be this year's budget that would they may be done before yes. October. Yes, it'd be completed before October twenty fifteen. How long does the project or do you estimate or guesstimate that it would take? Probably six to eight months of construction time on the entire project. Mm -hmm. Which includes other areas and some server lines we're relocating as well. Do I need to make that uh, with the contingency that we put it on hold to come out of the capital improvements fund? I wasn't sure what, what, I was what your intentions were. Upon finalizing the budget? Right, we're going yeah, to we can go ahead and approve the project from in our budgeting process. We can. Uh, Budget if we're uh, where it's best for us, so either have a capital improvement fund or a general fund when we finalize the budget. So that could just be something with pending where uh, what start would best be. But you go ahead and approve the project. Okay. Any other discussion on that? All in favor, say aye. Let's go back to the public hearing part. Where we uh, didn't have any comments, but we still need to approve it. You need a recommendation for immediate consideration of an ordinance to rezone the above mentioned property from an R1 to R2. Okay. Is there a motion to do that? I'll make a motion. Second. Okay. 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 Is there a second? I'll second. Thank you. All in favor, say aye. Aye. The second will be to approve the